This is simulating uh, trying to determine the color of tape within the field of view of the camera. The tape could be in many different locations and what we want to do is distinguish the red from the blue. So um, if we have red you can see the histogram here and if we have blue you can see where that histogram has been configured. So when we go through these images, you can see on the first one the red is passed, the second as well, and the third. When we get to blue, the red fails and the blue passes. Here you see the blue, and the next, and the next. And now on the final image, they both failed. So what we actually taught on this first image was this contour. Uh, I'm not sure how tall the tape is going to be so I just taught the top portion of the tape and as it moves around the screen so also it moves the two red and blue detectors so that we're only looking there you can see it. We're only looking at uh, this portion of the screen and it moves around to follow that found tape because of the software alignment. The next thing we need to talk about is the output. We've got this uh, output configured for red D1 and this one for blue D2 as shown here. This is detector 1 is red, 2 is blue. The second thing we need to talk about is we've got violet configured for repeat mode enabled. Out of the box it's no function. We need to put it to repeat mode enabled and this is where we'll land the output of our photo eye. So when the 4x4 palette is in front of the photo eye its output will be on and repeat mode means it, the camera will keep triggering itself repeatedly until it gets a result. So once it gets one of these results, the camera will stop triggering itself. The light will stop flashing until it sees the next palette. 